Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Jane and I'm making this video because I have been trying to make videos for a while now and I don't know, you know, maybe it's the universe or something, it just seems to be conspiring against me and every time I do anything it just doesn't happen and I'm an artist so I paint my videos are about my art and they're mostly about two characters, Matilda and Josephine, who are magical sisters and they just get up to lots of mischief and fun. But lately I have just been finding that every time I go to do something, something happens. And you might notice by my voice that the latest thing that happened was in fact coronavirus and so for the last two weeks I haven't been able to do anything. And this morning I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna make a video, I'm just gonna talk for I don't know how long about how I am trying to do things and then it's just not happening and I thought you know what I don't know one thing I have to say is I do have a little bit of brain frog frog <laughs> brain fog and so I actually have no idea what I'm talking about but that's fine but um yeah I have I was hoping for the Easter weekend to have done a little Easter painting. I thought, at least I can do that. I can sit down, do a quick painting, have it up for Easter. But yeah, I just couldn't. I just felt like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to have to sit at my desk and paint. Um, so I did have the sketch. And this was one of the things that I'd started doing was a art... What is it called? Art diary? No, not an art diary. What is it called? It's an art thing where you sketch every day and you kind of, oh my gosh, I don't know what it is. You see, my brain has completely gone. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But I have been doing all these sketches and it started off really, really well. And I thought, okay, this is really good. This is something to motivate me. Um, I can record some of it. So I have some stuff for videos. I just want to create a channel that is very much about these two characters. Also about where I get my inspiration from, how I create their world. The things that I do, and the things that stop me from doing it, and the, and the way that I kind of work around it, like I, like this morning, I mean, I have been thinking, God, the universe just does not want me to do this, and, you know, and then I thought, well, maybe the universe just wanted me to do it differently. I've been doing time lapses for a while, and maybe it's like, yeah, you know, they're really nice. I love watching time lapses, but I just think maybe it's just not for my channel, or at least not all the time. Yeah, so I've been doing this um, art, I still can't think of the word. I want to say diary and it's not an art diary. It's got something else. It's another word. I don't know what it is. Gosh. Anyway. Um, wow. It is, it's completely gone. But anyway. Um, I have found it really, really useful to do this art diary. And also being able to... Like, one of the things that I have struggled with with this channel is that I have become a... You know, I do a painting. I record the painting. I edit the painting and then I put it in as a time lapse and it's really nice, it's quite fun. But it's a very rigid process and I it takes a really long time when I have to come up with an idea, I have to get the sketching, I have to then actually do the painting. Whereas doing this art journal, that's what it's called. It's a journal. There you go. Which is similar to a diary, but you know, it's, it's specifically a journal. But with this art journaling, I can record doing some sketching, and I really like just sketching and using coloured pencils rather than paint. And So the really great thing about this art journal is that it is giving me a lot of ideas, and it is helping me to um, actually keep drawing, keep painting, because I'm not one of those people that gets up every day and sketches. And, you know, I've watched a lot of, not a lot, but a few YouTube channels and other just main artists who are like, yes, I sketch every day, I fill a sketch up every week, sketchbook up every week, and I'm like, <laughs> I, I sometimes can go months without doing any art. It's not necessarily something that I, it's, it's not my main focus in life. I do have a lot of interests. I am, I have a telescope. I love, um, you know, extreme weather. We've been watching a lot of the, um, weather in America and the tornadoes and things and I really am fascinated by you know anything scientific and so sometimes my mind will just go off onto that and I'm just like no art I'm not an artist that's somebody else I don't do that it's like I don't want to draw or paint I, I lose interest very quickly so i this art journal not only is it helping me with ideas but it's helping me to sort of keep it's almost like creating a habit and it's really 
And it was really frustrating when I got the virus because all of a sudden it's like you'll see all these blank pages where I'm like, I can't even pick up a pencil, you know. And I think it was actually on the floor by my feet on the sofa and I was like, yeah, no, it's too far away. I can't do it. And I watched, we watched, um, we watched a lot of Avenger movies and the Harry Potter movies twice and all the -the behind-the-scenes movies of Harry Potter as well, I was ill, and it actually was a really amazing thing, because I needed to have that week of doing nothing, I think, you know, when I think about the universe trying to, you know, stop me from doing things, and it's like, no, art is not for you, YouTube's not for you, and I'm thinking, actually, the universe would probably just say, you need to not do anything for a week, (laughs) and you're not listening, you know, I've been trying to get you to stop, and this is the only way, and, you know, I really do believe that that's how things work so but yeah this art journal really has been I don't know what you call it Savior, but it's just it's just made my art life a lot easier I'm you know with my videos I was always thinking oh you know I've got to come up with a painting then I got to paint it and record at the same time and it's quite difficult I have because I paint miniatures I have this kind of very tight space in which I'm working my next video I'm hoping is going to be a video that I made a couple of months ago about where I work and all my sort of roughly my equipment. I I can't decide I've already recorded the audio, but I can't decide whether I want to keep that audio and maybe do it again, I'm not sure. But um we'll see. So I am gonna start making more videos about Matilda and Josephine, what they get up to, what they do, where I get my inspiration from. Like when I'm walking through the woods I and now I cannot see these things in real life, they are in my head, but I can see like sort of, you know, elves and sprites and things running around in the woods and yeah, I'm not mad, I can't actually see them, but I can imagine them. Um, and I do that, you know, I'm sitting by the fire, sometimes I can imagine that I'm in a sort of hobbit world or something and I just, I have the most vivid imagination. And I think one of the best things for my mental health is to get that imagination out on paper and to have it and to sketch every day or even write every day. I think I need to write as well. I'm not sure if I want to share that, but um, but yeah, I'm going to stop now because I just, um, I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching. For a sympathy thing, do like the video and subscribe because it'll make me feel better. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.